Britain with Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, during a very difficult time for them. And you're almost writing to each of them. The, with, with Justin, I've never met Justin Bieber. Um, <clears throat> just knew that it, the session was for him specifically and just knew like writing a, what was happening. Because sometimes you can use what's happening in pop culture um, to affect a song. So obviously what we're talking about in Sorry, everyone's experienced that moment where you're like, okay, wait, I actually need to apologize. Mm -hmm. Whether it's to my family, whether it's to my girlfriend, to my boyfriend, I need to apologize. And so that's a very universal feeling, but also being aware of the fact of what pop culture was viewing him as in that moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and I knew a, an apology would, would be good. And I wrote it with my friend Julia Michaels, who I do a lot of my stuff with. And with Selena, she, you know, who I do know very well and have we are close friends and obviously close collaborators. She is just, I think, the best curator in the business right now. She knows exactly yeah. what she wants musically, lyrically, sonically, everything. She is so smart about it and she's so um, open about her feelings, whether it's relationships or whether it's partying, like whatever it is, she wants, she's so open about it. So when you're writing with her, it does become very, very That's easy. Right. So, so there was no awkward moment there with, with working on, on both? No, not at all. When we knew Sorry was happening and when it was official and Justin cut it, like, you know, we called her and just said, just so you know, this song's coming out. Because it is, a, these are real people's lives. Yeah. Yeah. This is real life. Yeah. And you have, to, you have to be real with your friends.